Hey guys, so today is weigh-in week three and four. Um, let's talk. So I didn't come on last week basically because I was exhausted. Um, I started back to work last week and I probably should have taken an extra week, either that or only gone back part-time. Um, but that's just not the type of person I am. I mean, I had carpal tunnel surgery when I was like 19 and I did hair at the time and I went back after two weeks, like using my hand. So, um, I'm just not the type of person to, I don't know, take care of myself very well. So, I went back to work. Um, yeah, and it was just sort of a lot and I was exhausted, like every time I got home and so every time I thought about making a video I was too tired and then by the time I wasn't tired it was like Sunday and I figured I might as well just combine the two weeks so there's that today is Tuesday um, September 27th so last week on September 20th or maybe I should do my stats first Sorry. Um, June 27th was my highest weight ever at 420 pounds. I had my surgery consultation on July 25th at 407, so I had lost 13 pounds at that point. My pre-op appointment was on August 29th, the day before surgery, which was August 30th. Um, I weighed in at 388, so I had lost a total of 32 pounds. Um, because I lost another 19 in the month pre-op. And first weigh-in and second weigh-in, you can see the videos. Did I do a two-week weigh-in? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, yeah, so last week, September 20th, um, I weighed in at 373.2. So that was a 1.8 pound loss um, for a total since surgery of 14.8 pounds. Um, I was kind of expecting that because number one, I was constipated, and number two, I lost almost 10 pounds the week prior, 9.6 pounds, so I feel like, you know, your body kind of adjusts like that. Uh, this week, this morning, I weighed in at 369.2, so hello, 360s, how you doing? Hopefully we don't meet for long. Um, four pound loss this week for a total of 18.8 pounds since surgery and a total of 50.8 pounds since my highest weight in June. So exactly three months ago, I weighed 50.8 pounds heavier, like to the day, June 27th. So that's exciting. Um, I was hoping for a bigger loss this week, um, but that's okay. I'm trying to just roll with it. Um, I was really hoping by month one I would be at least 20 pounds down, but hoping for 25. Um, but that's okay. 18.8 pounds is good. Um, you know, it's hard not to be, not to compare yourself to others, which I'm trying really hard not to do, but it's hard not to do that. So, yeah. What can I talk about, really? Um, went back to work exhausted. Um, the pain is getting less and less. I still have like a pinching, burning when I turn a certain way, but it's not like an all over burn like it was before. It's not, it doesn't happen constantly while I walk. Um, I am not driving currently just because the angle that I sit in my car and like, because I have to like pull myself, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It hurts really bad. Um, the pinching is like constant when I'm sitting in my car in my driver's seat. So I'm not currently driving. Luckily, I have a really good friend at work who lives like literally a block away and has driven me to work every day. So that's been good. Um, yeah, we can talk about bowel movements. Is that TMI? Whatever. This is gastric bypass surgery. I'm going to lay it all out there. Um, they've been very inconsistent. I am now taking a stool softener, which the doctor, he didn't prescribe it, but he said you should probably take it um, just because I had like three or four days of constipation and I took Miralax and by the time I finally went, 
it was hurt really bad. Um, like, yeah. So I'm now on a stool softener twice a day. That's fun. Um, I don't have diarrhea or anything, so. Um, and then, is this like too much information? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's surgery. What are you going to do? Um, I feel like everybody wants to know. That, you just heard, is an app I have called Chime. It alerts me every 15 minutes, which can be very annoying, but it tells me to drink. So, I'm almost done with my protein shake. Which is 30 grams of protein. Premier chocolate. It's the only one I can really stomach right now. The I had strawberry, but it's way too sweet. Um, and I have caramel, but I usually mix caramel with my coffee. And I haven't drank any coffee because it can dehydrate you. And I'm trying not to get dehydrated. But we'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, Chime, the app, alerts you to drink every 15 minutes if you need that. It may be annoying to some. It's working for me. Um, but yeah, anyways. So I am on a stool softener now, and I'm also taking Miralax daily to make sure things are running. Um, I guess it's just weird because you go from being very regular, like twice a day, to once every couple days, and that's weird. And you don't go very much, at least not for me, at a time. But I also have to think, I'm not intaking very much either. I'm not tracking my calories. Um, I only track my protein. That's the only thing my doctor really cares about. I'm supposed to get 60 to 100 grams of protein per day. I'm averaging about 70, which is great, but my goal is to get to 60. Um, I've already got to 30, so that's good. Um, I started soft foods last week, so I have had eggs, I've had tilapia, I've had, um, what else have I had? Chicken, uh, lunch meat, cheese. I'm trying to, like, knock off the cheese, but cheese goes down really easily, so I kind of love it. Um, because I, yeah, I started soft foods last week because I was just over soup. Um, what else have I had? Uh, broccoli, but I eat all of my protein first, and then if I have room, I'll have, like, a vegetable, um, but it's usually not very much. So, yeah, I'm usually eating, oh, yogurt, tried yogurt. Last night I was, or yesterday morning, I was able to eat a five-ounce thing of yogurt, is that like normal? I don't know. It's cons Oh, and cottage cheese. Those two things are considered like slider foods. So it's sort of like a liquid. So it passes through really quickly. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but I've heard a lot of people are able to eat that much of the yogurt and like cottage cheese and stuff just because it just, it doesn't like sit in your stomach like chicken would or anything else just sort of slides right through and goes right into your small intestine um yeah so in the yogurt I'm eating I'm I was really scared to eat it because of the sugar um but it's Oiko's triple zero um so it was really low sugar content and 15 grams of protein um because I tried Faye with um, like, plain, which is disgusting, it's sour cream, essentially, and, um, so I put in some strawberry, um, sugar-free Tarani, like, syrup, and that just tasted disgusting to me, so that didn't go over well. Um, I've had three instances so far in the past two weeks, or week and a half, or whatever, where I felt a lot of pressure in my chest, um, after eating or like during eating and that's when I eat too quickly and don't chew my food into like oblivion. Um, so I'm working on that because 
it just sort of gets backed up and so your mouth starts to sort of salivate and you feel like you're going to throw up. I have not thrown up, thank baby Jesus. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on that to really chew my food really well. You have to chew your food really well and working on eating slowly. So I'm always trying to do something while I'm eating so I'm not just sitting there like, that's not good. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, I've had a total loss, like I said, since surgery of 18.8 .8 pounds. Um, total loss since my highest weight of 420 is 50.8 pounds. Oh, we can talk about clothing. My underwear is too big. I've lost a cup size in my bra so far. Um, my pants are too big, my scrub pants. My shirts are too big. Like, hello, I, mm, mm, God. Um, yeah. And about a year ago, before I made the decision to get gastric bypass surgery, I got rid of all my small clothes because I was like, fuck it. Why do I have these? I'm just depressed about them. If I ever lose weight again, which who knows when that'll be, like 20 years from now, um, I'll just buy new clothes. Well, you're a dumbass, Ashley, because now, you know, you've already lost 50 pounds and you look ridiculous in your clothes. I look like a bag lady. So, um... That's fun. Um, I do have smaller scrub pants, but I need new shirts. And I do have smaller bras, um, but these fit okay right now. So, But I'm thinking in another 50 pounds, all of my clothes are just going to look ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm hoping to be, to go into the new year in the 200s, even if I'm 299.9. Um, so I've got, you know, 69.3 pounds left to go since I'm 69, 369.2. Um, I just think it would be really amazing to go into 2017 in the 200s because, I don't know, I just think it would be. Um, but we shall see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it keeps going. I know a lot of people stall at week like three, four, or five. You have like a week or two stall because it's your body like trying to catch up to the shock of like what you're doing to it. Um, so I'm just trying to take that with a grain of salt and go with it and not compare myself to others because that gets discouraging when you feel like you're not losing as quickly as other people did or are. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this found it interesting. I will see you all next Tuesday, which is actually my birthday. Um, a lot of people are asking what I want for my birthday or what I'm doing for my birthday. I'm not doing anything. Number one, I have to work. Um, and yeah, that's really it. I might eat some, oh, I've had shrimp also. So I might eat some like shrimp scram scampi. No pasta. I've never eaten shrimp scampi with pasta, but just like the shrimp and the sauce. But not very much sauce. So yeah, um, this is 13 minutes long. Hope you guys enjoyed. All the people that have had Ruin White or VSG, um, hope you found this helpful. I don't know. And uh, I will see you all next week. Hopefully I will start posting some other types of videos like my beauty or lifestyle or something. Um, maybe I'll do a few what I eat in a day. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the down bar um, or the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday, hopefully. That was rude. If you guys know what that means. I'm such an ass. Okay, bye!